Good morning, everybody. Welcome to MarketStream.Live. This is the opening bell. Take a look at all the action that's going on in the U.S. markets. And uh, the markets are actually reacting quite well. Uh, the Dow Jones is coming off of its best levels, but still trading down 29 at uh, 20,578. You have the S&P 500 down one point. So basically trading flat, very tight range. The SPX is trading at 2,356. The NASDAQ, uh, the NASDAQ's being helped by the large cap brother in uh, Apple and so forth up to the upside. Uh, but the NASDAQ's up seven to, uh, 770 at uh, 55.8760. You can see that it's challenging that 20-day moving average that it's settled below. The battle has begun. Large cap tech is going to need to carry it. We're going to need some other catalysts as well. Uh, the Russell 2000 still under pressure off of its lowest levels from the opening, but down a buck 78 at 1354.12. Watch this small cap index. The next level of support comes in at 1320. So you got about 30 points until this comes in to play. Uh, there's going to be a lot of headline risk in these small domestically orientated stocks. Taking a look at the U.S. dollar, the dollar is actually firmed up. Uh, that has taken some pressure off of equities and has put a little more pressure on the commodity markets. But the dollar's up at 97.70 after a precipitous drop after the last three sessions, firming up, up 31 cents. We'll keep an eye on that. The crude markets down 33 cents. Um, we've seen that these crude markets are starting to put pressure on the energy sector. And specifically, you're starting to see uh, countries like the U.K., under pressure because of this pullback in energy. West Texas is down 32 cents at 48.65. Um, you have Brent though up at 52.21. Um, that's been a driver to the upside and there's a real battle beginning right now with the crude bulls in the Brent contract. This is the contract that's primarily pumped out of the OPEC nations and non-OPEC nations like Russia. Uh, and the big meeting is coming up on the 25th. Uh, where they will formally announce whether or not they are going to adhere to and extend the production cuts going into through 2017 and into 2018. They've been telegraphing that. That's firmed up the crude markets, specifically in Brent. Um, the bond markets continue to tick to the upside. You have the two-year, the 10-year, and the 30-year. The uncertainty with the political environment and landscape here in the United States has bonds uh, moving to the upside in price. That means yields are coming down. As a matter of fact, as of yesterday, when we noted, we saw that the 10 year yield was coming in at 2.2%. It's still at 2.21%. Uh, again, we're going to watch this 20, this 200 day moving average to 216. This is a long term support level for yields. A break there. There's definitely uncertainty going on in the marketplace. That is not going to be a plus for the bulls. Taking a look at some stocks that have had earnings and are also in the news, let's look at some upside names. Um, let's take a look at Children's Place. Retail has been on fire, um, but Children's Place uh, was trading up and it is still trading up at $4.55. It bounced off of that 20, 50 day moving average. It's actually settled. Now the bulls came out they like the earnings. Uh, stock's up 455 at 116, but still now trading below that 20-day moving average. This is a critical moving average to basically watch. The stock pulled down going into earnings. Earnings come out this morning uh, and uh, Children's Place to the upside. Let's see who's going to continue this battle right now. The short-term bulls are on their heels. Intermediate-term bulls are being challenged. We haven't seen this kind of challenge since April, as you can see from the chart. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, the next name that I want to take a look at is um, LB. Uh, that's limited brands, L brands, excuse me. Um, trading up 274, up 5.66%. Again, up above its 20 and 50 day moving average on earnings. Came in, um, expectations were right around um, 29, estimate was 29 cents. They came in four cents higher. So a bit of a surprise, 13% to the upside. Stocks paying, uh, uh, getting a nice catalyst. It's up now. The short term and long term bulls have a catalyst with this positive earnings. Let's see if this beat up brand uh, LB is going to continue to move to the upside. Large cap, big box retailer, Walmart came out 
had nice earnings. As a matter of fact, you uh, see that the stock's up 1.72%. That's good for a buck 29 to the upside. It's 76.41. Challenge that 20-day moving average. Hit the battleground overnight. Catalyst to the upside. Uh, right now, earnings are uh, it, you know looking solid, and so we'll watch uh, again um, whether or not Walmart is going to continue to the upside. But the bulls clearly have control at this juncture. Um, what doesn't have control at this juncture is large cap tech name Cisco. Cisco came out down two dollars and fifty cents. That's good for seven point three percent to the downside. It's now challenged against twenty day moving average. Uh, there's a big shift here in Cisco. Uh, their earnings were disappointing. Uh, we'll watch this enterprise business and see how it's actually growing. Um, there is some concern there. See some profit taking on earnings. And then we're seeing um, Alibaba. Uh, Baba's uh, taking it on the chin after earnings, uh, basically down 3.17%, down 383 at 116.89. Blew through its uh, on the gap down its 20 day moving average. The battle has now begun for the short term bulls. Uh, watch this level right here 112, basically 112.30, 112.40 is going to be the next support level. Uh, stock's trading at 117, so well above that, but the stock can move that much. It's already moved 3% today. Uh, let's see if uh, any further concerns. Taking a look at Brazil. Now, Brazil is under pressure today. Uh, there has been some headlines that the president has a, there's a, a grafting probe. Uh, basically, guy's doing some potentially shady things there, uh, claiming to make something out of nothing. Uh, but uh, we're seeing that Brazilian stocks in general are under pressure. You see that the EWZ, the ETF that tracks Brazil, is down 17%. Uh, names like Petrobras, PBR, uh, down. Uh, 170, that's good for 16% to the downside. You're also seeing um, Vale, uh, another oil and energy name, uh, that and, and a mining name, excuse me, uh, Petrobras Oil, and, and then uh, you have iron ore mining and basic materials, Vale down, V-A-L-E, down uh, 9%. Um, also, you have uh, BUD, uh, B-U-D, uh, that is down to the downside. This is a consumer name, uh, Anheuser-Busch, to the downside. It's now challenged its and gone through its 20-day moving average. Let's see if that continues to put pressure on Bud. Um, you're also seeing metals under pressure. Uh, we already uh, said Valley under pressure. Well, you're also seeing Mattel down uh, 3%. You're seeing um, FCX, uh, Freeport McMoran is down and this is again when you see these metals and mining these basic material names uh this is concerning these are infrastructure plays these are growth names uh and with the current state of what's going on in here in the united states and the inability for first of all trump having any momentum before the latest graft of headlines it's very difficult. Last one we want to take a look at is AKS Steel down 2%. We saw also earlier U.S. Steel down last week. Uh, this one continues to grind to the downside, and we see some challenges. So, folks, while there's challenges in the market right now, uh, all in all, you're seeing that the marketplace is basically grinding right now again, trying to figure out what is the catalyst. Is there further downside risk? Well, if you take a look at volatility, and let's just pop in and take a look at the VIX real quick. I'm going to type in the uh, VIX. That's the volatility index. And right now, if you're taking a look at the VIX, it's actually coming off 60 cents, down 4% after what has been an impressive move, one day move uh, from basically 10 and some change uh, to uh, got as high as uh, yesterday, 1560. So trading off of those highs, down 60 cents. Vol is still holding in there above that 1415 level. If it does, that means that there is still cons considerable uncertainty when you look at the general environment where we've had low vol in, in the single digits to low tens. So watch this very closely. Keep your powder dry and keep your eyes on MarketStream.Live. We'll be back at 1.30 Eastern time for Strategy Now. I'm going to show you a cool strategy on how you can repair a stock that might have been beat up over the last couple of days and you don't have to put up any further capital. Join me to figure out how you do that here at MarketStream.Live. See you then.